from now? That's that's a difficult question. I actually, honestly, don't know for sure, but the, the world is changing so fast. In 10 years from now, it's really hard to say where uh, the fact-checking industry will be. It's very fast moving. I hope that uh, people will take it for granted the same way that we take for granted Wikipedia now. We're going to have different tools that we don't even know about right now. So I think that's part of what this conference is, is learning what these next generation tools might be. The thing we're really excited by is the opportunity to actually demonstrate how much a difference our work makes. To be able to look at a claim and see when we've checked it and when we've asked people to correct it, how much it goes down, how much people stop using it. So I expect that uh, the simpler statements that are very recurrent in, in, in political language, unemployment was X percent last year, uh, that these claims should be very much close to being automated in 10 years time, giving readers faster access to the information they want to have. I think in 10 years we will have instant automated matching of fact checks. So I think we'll watch television, uh, there'll be a speech going on, and when the politician makes the claim, the truth -a meter will pop up on the screen and say that's false. I don't see, um, at least in the short term, and not even in 10 years time, that we are gonna have an automated fact checker full stop. The human filter will be indispensable. What we are doing is freeing up precious fact-checking time uh, and bringing that content faster to the reader. Automating some of the processes could turn it from being a traffic cop where you're waving one car at a time through to being like the uh, director of transportation where you've got a dashboard and you can kind of watch things and handle a lot more content a lot quicker. Mm -hmm.